All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a Walking Dead video for today. Oh my gosh, <laughs> leading up to the eventual premiere for the Walking Dead season 10's finale. In this one, we're going to give our thoughts on now that there have been so many delays. Do we think that COVID might actually kill The Walking Dead? All right, so we are almost to the end of August here, getting ever closer to September, which is going to be September 1st is Tuesday coming up. Uh, so within, within a week. So just about a week left of August, and then we're into September, and we have The Walking Dead uh, season 10 finale, October 4th. So it's set for October 4th. Now, what they said at Comic-Con, the way it was supposed to work, is that the Walking Dead season 10 finale was supposed to air October 4th, and then they were going to do World Beyond after that. And then the next week, they're going to start Fear. And then, so far as we know, they're going to continue with World Beyond. And you'd have one episode of Fear and one episode of World Beyond after that for uh, a full uh, eight weeks um, or you know, seven, seven or eight weeks, however that works out for, for that in this, uh, this fall time. Now they did say as well that they were going to do an additional six episodes for the walking dead season 10. And we were going to see that in winter or early spring in 2021. Now, uh, that was at Comic-Con. So that was over a month ago that that was said, but, um, I don't think, or at least if they have started filming or they've started production, on those six episodes, I have not heard anything about it. So uh, even though there has been kind of the, uh, the lift of the lockdowns and everything, uh, it doesn't seem to me like they have started filming those episodes yet. So, um, or the second half of Fear Season 6, I don't think it started filming yet either. Um, so that would most likely mean that I'm not sure if we're actually going to get to see those episodes. At least if we do, most likely not early 2021. It's probably going to push them back. Like if we're talking springtime, I would think with editing and everything else and all the time it takes, maybe like late spring if they don't start them soon, I would think. Um, so or maybe summer, you know, uh, it's going to be really weird to see how this is actually going to work out. Maybe they'll have to scrap that whole six episode additional um kind of, uh, you know, promise that they made to do an additional six episodes for season 10. They might just have to scrap that and, and wait until, um, you know, I don't know, next spring or uh, summertime to film season 11 and just, uh, you know, and then and then air that the following fall. So that would be uh, 2021. So that would be basically like we would get to see this finale episode. And it would pretty much be, aside from that, uh, basically a whole year off without Walking Dead. <laughs> so uh, let's see if this half season of Fear and World Beyond can kind of uh, keep people interested in the property and uh, when they're going to be able to do the uh, second half of Fear Season 6 and when that's going to air next year. Um, but, you know, I am pretty excited for the Walking Dead Season 10's finale. And let me know in the comments below if you guys are still interested, if you're still excited. Uh, I can say that I haven't seen uh, this uh, a low hype or at least this level of reduction in the interest from the community for Walking Dead since the series started, probably since before the series started, because even when The Walking Dead's first season started in 2010, there was buzz around it because the comics were so good that once we heard there was going to be a TV series, there was a lot of buzz leading up to the premiere of the TV series because people wanted to see it. So I have not seen uh, this uh, uh, little amount of buzz for Walking Dead in all the years I've been doing this, which would be basically 11 years now. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. Are you still excited to see the season finale uh, episode in October? How excited are you? Are you interested to watch Fear and World Beyond? Or is it just like because this whole thing has happened, has it just killed it for you to where there's just no hype for you? And that's basically what I want to hear from you guys. Uh, and I do have some different Walking Dead uh, questions uh, for today uh, or comments at least that we can get into. Um, so the Walking Dead movie is also up in the air too. I mean, it's crazy to think that pretty soon 
uh, will be into 2021. So that means if it starts filming next year, then we likely won't see that until 2022 or maybe 2023 at that point. And so uh, we had heard that report like last year that uh, we might see like a Walking Dead season 12, 13 type of uh, finishing point or finish off. I'm just wondering if this whole COVID lockdown and everything, uh, because it's kind of lost all this time, uh, lost a whole year of productivity for Walking Dead, and obviously has hurt uh, tons of businesses worldwide. I can't think that AMC would be exempt to that. I would think that it probably has hurt AMC as well, too, uh, in, in a lot of ways. So uh, let's hope we eventually get to see the Walking Dead movie. But I guess based on how things are going right now, I, 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 I would say everything is still kind of really up in the air. Um, you know, to see what happens in November here, what happens in the U.S. and, um, you know, uh, and, and then, you know, when, when they can start filming and when this whole thing can happen. So hopefully we get some information, uh, news on that pretty soon. And uh, we get some idea of at least when we could see, you know, more new Walking Dead episodes, be it Fear's second half season, um, you know, those additional six, or if they're just going to scrap the year and decide we're just going to film for uh, for season 11 after that, and then have season 11 premiere uh, the following fall, which would be 2021. Um, what will the ratings be like when it comes back? And I think that is a good question for AMC uh, in terms of the network. It does sound like they pretty much won their lawsuit against Robert Kirkman. Um, so congratulations to them for that. Uh, does that mean they'll also win the lawsuit against Frank Darabont? Probably, but you know, you never know for sure. But it sounds it's a good sign, I think, for them. So, um, you know, uh, I guess we'll have to see what happens with AMC, how they recover from this whole thing, and how it affects or impacts their business as, as a whole. But the, the ratings for the, the series, what those are going to look like when it comes back, um, you know, whether or not they're going to still be able to be, be profitable and everything, and how many people are going to be interested. A lot of this stuff works on momentum, and I think that's a big problem with TV series during COVID is because a lot of it works on kind of looking to the next season or looking to the next episode. And when you lose that uh, kind of build up or momentum, um, it's very difficult to get it back, especially if you're just doing one episode. Uh, but I know Walking Dead fans are diehards, so uh, I, expect to, uh, I expect to see at least a good portion of them come back and we'll see if it's enough for them to continue doing their deal. I, I hope it is. I hope it doesn't totally just make it to where they can't even, you know, uh, complete it or, or the ratings collapse because people don't come back and watch it later. And then, you know, I hope that doesn't happen. But really, it, would, it really wouldn't surprise me if it, if it did, considering how many businesses have been hurt by this whole, this whole thing. Um, so James uh, McElroy, uh, 190503, said, uh, This show needs something to do with Rick uh, with a comeback. And fast, it's difficult right now. Um, so he's hoping to see Rick come back. I mean, there's always the possibility that maybe they could scrap the movie and have him come back to the TV series. I think that's a possibility, unless it's already signed and con uh, contractually set up uh, and locked in stone. But, um, you know, I think AMC is, yeah, it's hard to say, but, you know, it's a big network and everything, so I don't think this would be, you know, this one-year kind of setback would be enough to uh, to collapse it or anything. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Melinda Davis says, a video idea with the new episodes of Walking Dead and Fear. Maybe you could do a recap video to remind us where we left off. <laughs> and I think that is a great uh, idea for us to do a video on that recapping. Oh, yeah, what happened before? Uh, and maybe hyping the new episodes or at least letting you guys know when they're going to premiere because I feel like, um, you know, in these last... These last several months, however long this has been going on for, if you count five months or four months or whatever, um, it's just like it, it's it's just like clean. It's just like cleared the state. Like it's cleared my state in terms of like like what I'm used to, the normal rhythm with things being on and, and what we're doing and everything. It's uh, and it's 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 pretty crazy, man. This what we've uh, what we've had to go through this year and what what has happened. So uh, that's a great idea for Melinda. I'll probably do that as we get closer to October fourth here, and uh, we'll at least like to make some videos. Definitely do a review for that episode, some live streams in and around it. And uh, thank you guys for sticking with me during this time. I've been trying to continue with live streams, continue with stuff going, uh, even though you know entertainment is still basically shut down. There's some new movies and stuff starting to air now and that whole thing and it's getting back but it's um you know it's uh, definitely 
definitely a bit a bit slow to get back to it. Uh, Michelle Collins said that Virginia is the cringiest uh, villain ever. Thanks, Trev. <laughs> so that's her comment for that. Harvey Bell said, I wish Kirkman would get off his high horse and put Clementine in the TV show for season 11. And then some people said that they actually would not like to see a Clementine in the TV show. Uh, I've said this before. I think that'd be good to do it. Um, Anytime you can bring in new characters from another property, especially when that property is kind of over, because the video games for Walking Dead are finished. So if you were to bring a Clementine into the TV show, it could be something cool for video game fans to see that uh, version of the character uh, uh, adapted. And uh, because if they're hardcore, the, the, the video game, if they love that, and the video game's done, then maybe they would like to see Clementine in the TV series version. Uh, Andy Guadalupe's calling it. He says, I think The Walking Dead will end at season 15. My opinion. Well, I think that this this kind of shutdown for a year or this uh, at least six months or however long you want to count it by the time they finally get back to it and, and they finish it. I do think it probably is going to affect the longevity of The Walking Dead in terms of how many seasons it would get. I think before it was guaranteed it would get at least 12 seasons. Now it's kind of more not sure. You know, uh, for him saying season 15... You know, I think that would be great. That'd be awesome. But, you know, the cast and crew are getting older. You know, Norman Reedus and Melissa McBride, uh, Andrew Lincoln, too, you know, um, each year. Right. So uh, and, and this, this whole this whole situation has been a stressful year. So it's kind of aged us a bit, too. So um, we'll see. But I'm hoping that the uh, the lockdowns and the shutdowns and everything will just make people want to go back to work and want to uh, want to work because they'll probably miss it when they actually can't do it. Uh, because of uh, you know the uh, 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 you know safety safety reasons or whatever. Okay, uh, F U. This his YouTube name is literally F U. He said, "Trav, I'm F and salty. I'm rewatching *Fear the Walking Dead* season three, and it is truly, in my opinion, one of the best in the entire *Walking Dead* franchise. Why the F did they go and screw it up?" Um, well, you know, I mean, I think that in theory, uh, season four and the crossover of Morgan and then following with the cr crossover of Dwight and then eventually Sherry, I think in theory it's a good idea. I don't think that in theory it would wreck the series or ruin the show or anything like that. Um, I guess uh, it's just there was different ha things happening. Uh, the actor who played Nick wanted to leave, so they had to kind of oblige that and let him go. So that was going to happen either way. And then uh, for Madison, um, well, that was... You know, uh, it was killed off, so it was what it was. But, um, you know, we can speculate even still on the reasons for that, whatever the case may be. But, um, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it, it, you know, you're giving Morgan two fear from the original series. I don't see how that would hurt things. And then you're giving Dwight and you're giving Sherry. Uh, so I think in theory it makes all the sense in the world to do it. Maybe in practice it could have turned out a little bit better. But uh, especially with the second halves of those seasons, both four and five, I feel like the first halves are great. The second halves are where they kind of fizzle out or they run into trouble by the end of the season. It's just kind of, kind of, yeah, it, fizzle, it fizzles out, right? It kind of, it's like they put all their best ideas in the first half and then by the time you get to the second half, it just feels like it's kind of burning it out and then uh, and then leaving it kind of, uh, well, at least there was a big cliffhanger at the end of season five. Uh, that last part was really exciting and everything like that, but leading up to it, mm, <laughs> not so much. Uh, so there is a new teaser, by the way, for Fear, if you guys haven't seen it. I think uh, the actress who plays uh, comicbook.com ha has it. Uh, Luciana, she posted it. And so there's some new little clips in there. I won't do a breakdown or anything like that. I don't have the gumption for it right now. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to do that, but uh, it's there. Um, and so you can watch it if you want to see it. And, uh, and that's what it is. Uh, Ragman Racing One says, maybe The Walking Dead was giving us hints all along to look for hints in the real world. Easter eggs are Easter eggs, even if you look for them. Say on the back of a, a Madonna album, the writers and producers are held to the same secrecy about the world and uh, the world should be. So um, there's very, I want to be clear on something after Sunday's video. There are very few people in the entertainment industry that are privy to uh, world knowledge ahead of time. Very, very few. Um, typically, it's it's just the top. Usually, it's just the top of the top people. So uh, most of them probably don't know anything about this stuff. Some of them may know about Scientology. They may know about uh, Freemasonry. A lot of them would know about Freemasonry. Um, so, you know, they, 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 they would know about that, um, but they wouldn't be illuminated or ranked usually in the system unless there's somebody who's really really high up there 
um, you know, uh, and, and is really kind of intertwined with it. So I don't think, you know, people have come at me as well, too. Some people in the truther space have bashed Walking Dead. Maybe I'll grab that clip and put it in so you guys can listen to them kind of go at me a bit. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I won't mention who it is, but I'll grab I'll grab the clips of some people in the truther space coming at me uh, for liking Walking Dead because they just think it's garbage and they, <laughs> like, uh, they just hate it, right? So we love it. And these guys, you know, they, they're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Although the term of calling uh, sheep zombies has taken its own, has taken on, uh, granted that's always kind of been used, but it, I feel like it's taken on a little bit more recently, so that's kind of fun. But yeah, I mean, I don't think there's a, there's a whole lot of stuff. If there is anything in Walking Dead, it's probably uh, just coincidental. It's just, um, you know, uh, it, it, I don't think it's put there on purpose. I don't think anybody involved with Walking Dead is probably... Uh, you know, like a high-ranking Freemason or anything. I've always, I've always thought that maybe Gimple was, but <laughs> maybe he's not a Mason. He might not be a Mason at all. I have, I have no idea. Not everybody is. Um, but uh, when you get up higher and higher and higher into society, in entertainment and in other places, it's staggering how many people uh, actually are. It's, it's very. Uh, it's kind of scary sometimes. Uh, Adrian Peterson says, will you please stop with the conspiracy stuff and go back to Walking Dead? So here's a video for you there, Adrian. This is a Walking Dead centered video for you. Uh, Marco Alex came at me and said, yeah, the kid making YouTube videos in his basement surrounded by his toys has the world's secrets all figured out. Uh, and I'm mostly leaving the hate comments now because I'm so like pro against censorship. I'm letting people troll the shit out of me and I'm not deleting them. I'm just leaving them there. Uh, I might delete some of them if they're just totally ridiculous, but most mostly I'm leaving them. I haven't deleted any comments recently. YouTube does delete some though, just so you guys know. So it might not be me. It could be YouTube also. Alpha Omega 1963 says, you should really stick to walking the videos instead of going in a crazy lunatic territory. Uh, so that's fun. So definitely I think we can say that walking dead audiences and truth or topic audiences do not get along. <laughs> they do not. They do not mix as much as I thought they would. Uh, Franz List says, "Hello, Trev. Uh, all right, what's going on? Best intro. I mean, overall, uh, you are very informative as always. I only watch your videos about truth or stuff or about the cabal. I don't watch any of your Walking Dead videos, but I give you respect for all professionally made videos. So here we have someone on the other side, from the truther side, who hates. Who? Well, I would say he hates Walking Dead. He just doesn't watch any of the videos about." You know about Walking Dead. He only watches my other stuff. So I have got lots of new people who who like the other stuff and uh, appreciate that and are not so into Walking Dead. But I never thought they would be so uh, opposed to each other. Uh, the two the two camps. I thought there would be a lot of people who are into Walking Dead that would also because it's kind of dark. Like some of these topics are dark. You know, when you look into the if you read into the families of the thirteen, you find out like it's very very dark. So uh, I would just think like you know Walking Dead is kind of dark. This topic is kind of dark. So maybe they'd work, maybe they'd mesh for some people. And for some people they do, but for a lot of people they don't. NL Loco versus the world said, why would you destroy your channel like this? I don't get it. Uh, we all used to love you. Now half of us don't like this, uh, but we don't want to unsubscribe because of The Walking Dead. Why not return to 2016 Trev's Chan? Uh, but now we know what you think. Um, so it's true that um, that I do, by doing the other topics and give my thoughts on these other things in, in real world, I... I inherently offend people because the, you know, real world discussions and everyone has their zeitgeist, everyone has their worldview. I have mine. And um, so, uh, you know, I don't mean to offend anybody or upset anybody with the videos that uh, that I've been doing. But more than anything, I've been trying to kind of keep busy uh, to, to do that because I love doing this with you guys. Uh, at first, when the, the shutdowns first happened, we were doing that stuff. Uh, that was going really well. I felt like everybody was on board. Nobody hated me yet. But as we kept talking and not having Walking Dead to go to, more and more people got upset about us not doing more Walking Dead, which is definitely the case recently. And, um, you know, so people kind of turned on. Also, it is very dark. And it's something to, it's something to think of, like, um, if it's fictionally dark, like if it's something in fiction but dark, like Walking Dead, then it's, then it's okay for people. Uh, they're not so wanting to know, and I discussed this on Sunday, and, and they, it was funny because as I was discussing in the video, people were literally doing what I was describing in the video. <laughs> so I was describing that they don't necessarily, they don't really, a lot of people just don't want to know this stuff. They just don't want to know it. And so uh, that's why they, they hate it and they unsubscribe, whatever. Or maybe they think it's all false, and so then they unsubscribe for that too. 
And some of the stuff is false, like the Q stuff. I've mostly given my thoughts on is basically mostly false. It's not. It's not true. Um, and I've, I've I've said that. And in some of the videos I do, I just simply say that I think they're false. You know, like the whole reptilian idea. Of this thing, I just say false. You have to have incredible truth to uh, or incredible proof to show that is true. So you just say, well, it's false. So, but they just get offended that I'm giving thoughts on it at all, even if I'm saying that these ones are not true. Or the, the whole idea of Alex Jones being replaced by Bill Hicks, I just say, no, that's false. Uh, or at least I think it's false. Uh, and if, if you think it's true, I don't want to offend you or anything. It's cool. Uh, but I, I think it's false. Um, so, but people just hate it. They just, like a lot of people, they just hate it. They just hate even... They hate even talking about it for whatever reason. They just, it's not something, well, I guess it's not something they have an interest in, which is fine. It's something I have always had an interest in. And uh, believe me, if this year didn't happen the way it did, I probably would have hardly ever made these videos if, if made any at all. Anyways, so that's it for the video today, guys. I hope you're having some fun. I hope you liked, you know, we're almost back here to Walking Dead in about a month here or so. I hope you liked some of the videos and I hope I didn't offend you too much with some of these viewpoints. We all have our viewpoints. And so uh, that wasn't my intention was to offend anybody. So uh, let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. If you have any Walking Dead questions or topic suggestions, leave those below. And uh, I'll try to keep kind of going. I did think like, you know, when The Walking Dead eventually ends, I I'd hope I'll be able to continue to do the channel and keep doing it. But uh, kind of the feedback I've gotten back recently, I'm starting to think like, well, you know, it seemed like I could, but maybe I can't. Maybe maybe once Walking Dead is over, I won't be able to produce content and kind of do that in the channel. I'd like to, but maybe I won't be able to because people just, they only see me as the Walking Dead guy and they don't want me doing anything else, any other stuff. So if I, you know, venture out and do these other things and whatever, uh, it gets it gets shown to you guys first, subscribers first. You guys are not interested, so you click off or you don't watch. It never gets promoted in YouTube and it doesn't bring any new viewers. And then it constantly just kind of brings the channel down, 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 down. Because the audience that I do have is not interested, so they don't watch. So it's kind of like people just want me to be the Walking Dead guy all day. And I never wanted to be that. I never wanted to do that. But that's what they want. So uh, let, let's see, man. Let's, let's see what happens. Because I don't know how much longer we have for Walking Dead, guys. I really don't. So that's why I wanted to just do lots of other stuff and just see what I enjoy doing. I definitely enjoy doing that with you guys and other shows and, uh, and movies and stuff, whatnot. Uh, but I have a, a strong interest for that. But maybe that's not something I'll be able to do, um, you know, um, just because of uh, the nature of what it is and people just not, people not wanting that. And if people just don't want it, we're not going to do it. So that's it for updates kind of for the, uh, for the channel, guys. And then what, what Walking Dead stuff I have right now. I don't have much else Walking Dead. If you want to give me something, topics or whatever, then maybe we can do that. But aside from that, that's basically all I have right now for Walking Dead. I, I hope you guys did like the video. And again, I don't want to piss any of you guys off. So I hope I haven't pissed people off too much. But uh, let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. Thumb the video up. Share, favorite, and subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this one. See you guys again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev. And I'm saying peace to the guys. See you soon.